Hello everyone, it's Jackson here, and today I'm going to show you all the new transitions that recently came out to FundMe. So first, I'm going to go to Edit Video, go to Pick a Picture, which is going to be Lauren. And then you want to go to Animate, Custom, and then press to Add. And the new keyframe transitions are Color, Line or Wipe, Skew, Stylized, Tile Spin, Turbulence, and Whirl. I love all of these, so thank you, Fami, for adding them. So first off, we're going to start with color. With color, you can change either the hue, which changes it all colors with the rainbow, or just the background and the portrait, or whatever spot it is. Next, we have saturation. It turns up how bright you want it, or how dark you want it, which is white or gray. Next, we have lightness. This is just turns it how bright it is, and this turns how dark it is. Temper and next we have temperature, which makes it hot or cold. Basically, which is orange and blue. And then next we have tint, which is basically a high pink purple color and then a high green, light green color. And that's all for color. Now let's move on to liner white. Liner white. You can use progress, which makes it go up or down. Highest is 100, lowest is 0. And with this, you can go to angle, change it how long you want it, which makes it this, change the degrees of it. It goes up to like 1x and that's it. And then it goes to 0. And the further, it just makes it how smooth you want the line to be or how hard you want the line to be so this is the hardness which is all the way down to zero and then 100 is the smoothest so yeah that's it for line wipe the next effect we have is skew skew is one of my favorite to use because i like it a lot so and then the next and then angle change the angle to 60 which is the limit and then the other limit is negative 60. And then you change the axes to horizontal or vertical. Both of them are cool. So thank you, Funmate, for that. You can either have fill or no fill. This just fills the background. Without fill, it's just the picture. And then it actually moves. And that's it for skew. The next new transition custom effect is stylus. Funmate added a feature where you can make a shadow border, a black shadow border around your picture. Or clip and they added grain so you can like edit pictures and stuff on funmate obviously the opacity is to 100 to 0 and then sharpening is where you can sharpen your picture make sharpening actually makes your edits kind of smooth because I've used it in some of my edits and it makes it really cool and smooth and um the opacity is to 100 to 0 like that and then the fading is 100 to 0 and the fading is just where it fades the picture that's it with stylus, stylized, or whatever it's called like that. Next, we have tile spin. Tile spin's one of my favorites, too. Change the rotation to 359 and higher, which goes to 1x, 2x, however you want it to be. Then goes to the negatives to negative 1x, and like that. And then the frequency is where how long you want it. So say like this, how big you want it or how small you want it, which is the 20 to 0. Or to one, actually, sorry. And then we have type. You can change to this square. So let me show you real quick. Square, circle, or hexagon. All of these are amazing. The next one we have zoom. The opacity is 100 to 0. This just zoom in the picture when you want to rotate your transition for your tile spin. And then the tile shift is where you can just move it up, down, to the left, or to the right. That's it with tile spin. The next transition, custom transition, is turbulence. Turbulence, you can change the opacity to 100 and 0. This, you can create a visual effect with it. This gets to 100 and 0. This just depends on how big you want it or how small you want it. Like that. The next transition, custom transition, we have next is whirl. Whirl just shows the bend of what transition you want. The type can go up inner, up inner corner or just the inner, like that. 
And then H division is just where the length of it. The B division is just the upper length of it. And that's basically it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you a lot and bye.